Before I begin this video, I would like to let you know that this is for entertainment purposes only, and I have nothing better to do. I am extremely bored, and I thought, hey, let's plug this snowflake spinner into a 9 volt. Nah, you know what? That's not fast enough. How about a little faster? Here's a 12 volt adapter, and before you ask, no, the sound isn't fried. In theory, by disconnecting the sound, the sound should never fry regardless of what voltage I put it on. But we're gonna find it out. Here's a 12 volt. It probably hurt. Yeah, it kind of hurts. Ow. It actually did hurt. And now it shut off. I think it completely fried. <laughs> nope, the fun's not over. I'm doing this until something breaks. Oh, the lights just broke. Exception of the lights. I don't care about the lights. I want something on the mechanism to break. Holy shit. <laughs> this is awesome. Jesus Christ. How about let's go again? I'm surprised nothing is broken yet. I'm guessing the first thing to break is the hat on. I'm afraid to touch this thing. Why won't it break yet? I'm bored. I want it to break. Come on, break. Just break yourself. Please. Ow. Man, that, that actually hurts when it hits my hand. Okay, I'm going to hook back up the speaker and plug it into a 6 volt and see if the sound is fried or not. Okay, I hooked back up the sound. Let's see if it's fried. Holy shit, it's not. Okay, so if you want to plug in a snowflake spinner to a 12 volt and not fry the sound, all you have to do is disconnect the speaker before you do it. Science right there. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.